you're scared of the Electro Dragon as a Town Hall 9, then you have come to the right place. Let's make sure the Electro Dragon never ruins your war attacks again. What you're going to do is you're going to wait. You're going to bring the Electro Dragon out, and we're not counting the troop space of the Lure Troops for the purposes of this video. Now, detail number one. This goes for any uh, CC kill, not just the Electro Dragon. If you have a Builder Hut on the outside, let's not put the Archer on the Builder Hut um, right off the bat. If you can, find another building close to the Builder Hut and put it there. The reason is because if the Archer takes this out, then you won't have that convenient anchor to take the CC troops once they get over here. So, you bring them close to the Builder Hut first, then you bring them all the way to the Builder Hut, which is what's going to happen here. Okay, now I'll slow it down. Now, once the shadow is exposed, I'm going to drop the wizards so that they're so that the closest thing to the wizards is the shadow under that electro dragon. Okay? But I don't want to drop them when the electro dragon stops. I want to make sure the ele the wizards have a little bit of distance between them and you'll see why soon, okay? So now, next step I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to watch this archer very carefully, okay? As soon as that archer goes down, I'm going to put another archer closer to that shadow under the electro dragon than the wizards are. And the other rule is you don't want that archer to be close to the wizards because if the archer is close to the wizards, the chain is going to go through the archer and to the wizards. That's not what you want. So I drop the archer over here, okay? Close to the Electro Dragon, but far from the wizards. That's the key. Boom. The closest thing to the Electro Dragon now is the archer. So, so it's going to shoot the archer. And I repeat over and over. Meanwhile, the wizards are nice and safe over there killing the Electro Dragon. And now you'll see that I killed this Electro Dragon with my Town Hall 8 troops with a whopping 14 troop space. Nice and easy. So now we're going to go through an even more troop efficient method, okay? Again, we're going to lure the Electro Dragon, except instead of the wizards, we're going to use the queen, right? And again, it's the same thing. I'm just looking straight at this archer, dropping the archer far from the queen, close to the shadow of the Electro Dragon. It's a level 16 queen. The only thing that changes with the level of your queen is how long it takes to do this. You Town Hall 9s, if you can kill the Electro Dragon with your queen like this before you start a queen walk, that's usually effective. If you're using Sui heroes, you can kill it with your queen in the area that you want to drop your queen, and then you can drop the king in front. And of course, this is useful for attacks like Zap Hogs and Laloon that don't require a kill squad or any substantial use of your queen. There are a couple points I want to make in this video. One is po the use of a poison spell and a free spell. Okay, and this goes for your queen walk. And the other is why not to immediately go to ability when you see an Electro Dragon. Okay, so first of all, there's the poison spell, and I drop it so that it spends as much time in the poison before it ends up at the queen. Okay, and then I'm going to wait till it stops, then I'm going to count to two. One, two, and then I drop the freeze. Electro Dragon spends as much time in that freeze as possible. But anyways, one frustratingly common thing people do is as soon as they see the Electro Dragon gets onto the queen, they hit the ability. There are two problems with this. One the queen will automatically go to the ability when she gets knocked out. Two, if you go to ability, she can still get hit by the E-Dragon's chain because she's surrounded by archers. Now, if you have a low level queen and you're doing a queen walk, which by the way I don't recommend, but you decide you don't want to sacrifice your ability, then you can use the rage instead. Now keep in mind, this spell placement has to be perfect. 
Okay, so you're gonna see the poison go so that they are there. Now this is important. I drop the rage as soon as she's about to lock onto the E-Dragon. Now, what's gonna happen is I'm going to wait for the E-Dragon to stop and then I'm going to count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and then I'm gonna drop my, my freeze. And this is a level one freeze, so it is enough. And then in that time, she will be able to take out the E-Dragon. Those of you with less than level 15 queen, I don't recommend this. Okay, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, boom. Goes down before I have to use my ability, okay? So if you're using a queen walk and it's a relatively low level queen walk, you either gotta use the rage or the ability along with the freeze and the poison. Now some of you may have a higher level queen and for the purposes of this video, we'll focus on whether you have a queen that is level 25 at least. And I say level 25 because a level 25 queen has enough hit points to survive one attack from an Electro Dragon. Any lower and it will go to ability right away. So as you can see here, I've already had the poison there. And again, I wait for the Electro Dragon to stop. And then I got one Mississippi, two Mississippi, boom. There's your freeze. And she's gonna go ahead and take it out. But she is going to take one shot and as you can see the healers took it so you got to be careful to keep the healers away from her but now we're going to do almost the same thing except instead of our level two freeze we're going to use a maxed freeze now what this is going to do is it's going to allow your queen to kill the electro dragon without taking a shot at all so again the electro dragon stops you count one mississippi two mississippi and then you drop the freeze and you should be able to take this Electro Dragon out before he gets a shot off on you. So now I'm going to be showing you how to kill an Electro Dragon when you are doing it on the fly with your dragons. And I'm using this 2 star attack versus a near max Town Hall 10 as an example. Now as you can see, the funnel is nice and tight, meaning my dragons will stay together. But anyways, as you can see, the Electro Dragon comes out here and we'll zoom in. Now, this is important. <coughs> 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 Sorry, that soda's really getting to me. But anyways, what's going to happen is I'm going to rage my dragons so that they kill the Electro Dragon quickly. And boom, but right before the Electro Dragon gets a shot off, I freeze it. So it's unable to get a shot off on my dragons before it gets murked by all those dragons. <coughs> Ugh. It's really getting out of hand. But anyways, there's your E-Dragon kill with your mass Dragon attack. So now let's go into how to kill the Electro Dragon with your kill squad. So as you can see, the Electro Dragon's harder to take out ahead of time here. So Colton here, or Seymour here, is going to be entering on this compartment. And I'll just speed up here. He poisons the Clan Castle troops. Now the important part. Okay, so we'll pause right here. He has a poison down to slow down the Electro Dragon, and he has a rage, which importantly has the Archer Queen in that rage. So the Archer Queen is going to be taking down that Electro Dragon before he can get a second shot. Okay, one shot is usually not completely devastating, but as long as your Queen is raged and the Electro Dragon is poisoned, you should be able to take it down. Now let's talk about how witches can kill the E-Dragon. And this one is probably the easiest thing, right? Witches can kill most things except maybe Valkyries in the CC, which is why I do recommend bringing a freeze. But this is about E-Dragons, okay? So the E-Dragon comes out. He puts the rage right before it's about to, the CC trips are about to come out. And what's happening is the skeletons are going under the E-Dragon. Then they're dying. And then the E-Dragon keeps retargeting because his targets keep dying. And because of that, he's never actually going to get a shot off other than the lightning that strikes after he dies. Nice and easy. The last thing I'll leave you with here is to remember that the E-Dragon is not only very slow, but he does not technically do splash damage. He does chain damage. And as long as you use those two things against him, then you should have no problem at all taking down the E-Dragon. So... Again, I hope this was helpful. If it was, leave a like. If you want to see more guides like this, then subscribe and hit the bell icon.